All right, guys, it's May 2nd, 2022, and I cannot believe that this year is flying by so quickly. I love the springtime, and I love summer. Uh, the summer is my most favorite season, no doubt, especially here because it's not that hot, but I love it. But this lawn season has crept up on me so quickly, and I am not ready for it. So remember the last video I was saying, hey, I need to get a new mower. Somebody reached out to me, uh, one of my Instagram on people or whatever and he saw the video and he's like hey I got this mower and so I traded him some of that blitz it's the humic acid fertilizer stuff that's on my web website and so I traded him uh, this mower right here this is a John Deere zero turner mower or something I don't know don't even know how this thing works but he gave me a good price he was gonna give it to me and I said well I can't take your I don't want your mower for free so he's like, okay, let's trade for the fertilizer then. He said the gas cap is broken. There's a seal or something that's wrong with this, but it has a bagger and it goes really low. Uh, it's got a Briggs 190 cc, which is, um, that's fantastic there, 190 cc. So I'm gonna mow for the first time of the season today right now. And it's pretty chilly out here. It feels like about, I don't know, 45, 55 degrees. It's not exactly warm, probably 50 degrees. So this is comical. This is uh, got this hand crank right here. And this looks like it's coming loose right here. But the funny thing is, is last night I threw away one of those hand cranks just exactly like that uh, last night. So that hand crank piece was just hanging out in my garage. I didn't know what it was for and it wasn't for this because I just got this and I'm like, I don't need that. Threw it away. Now look, the next day, need something like that. So I had been sick for over a month easily. So the last video I made, I was super sick. I felt like I was just getting over it. And um, it turns out that, oh, I just dropped that on my toe. Oh, that hurts. Turns out that I was not, I was not better at all. And it just got worse and worse. I got sick, took antibiotics. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm still sick, but you know, I've, my life's gotta go on and I need to function. So let's get to the front and mow. And it's got this funky bagger like setup thing, you know? It's weird, just a weird, weird mower. It's like, oh, you need to get a flu shot. Oh, you need to get a flu shot. No, I'm not getting a flu shot. Ooh, look at that. So you push it, you push the mower straight. Look at this. So the alignment's off. Maybe I could take it to the tire store and they can figure out how to realign it. So the lawn is green. I haven't done anything to it. Only thing I've done is I came out here with the blower and blew it off. There's some serious work that needs to happen. You can see dead spot there, gasoline spill, gasoline spill there. I think what I'm gonna do is dig it out, bring in new soil, and then Use the pro plugger. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, so really, I want to use the rotary mower very first, so I can essentially scalp the lawn. I want to scalp it down. What the freak? I have no idea how this works. John Deere, weird, weird, weird mower. Weird freaking mower. So I'm going to put the the wheels all the way down. I don't know how to start this thing or do anything, but it has a Briggs motor, which is good. I'm not even gonna check the oil. I'm gonna prime it about 10 times. String pull there. Oh, oh she seized. So the string isn't long enough. Almost got it. So essentially I want to kind of scalp it. Not like terribly bad, but I want to pick up debris and scalp it. So 
my initial thoughts of the mower are, uh, it's okay. It ain't no double tree if you get what my drift. Look at that. <laughs> it's not bagging properly. Should have got the Honda. Oh, she's clogged. That's why she's clogged. She's clogged. She's clogged, Clark. Try that. What the crap is this? That's just weird. So that is not gonna be a recommended mower of choice for me. I am an absolute N.O. on that sucker. Screw you, mower. You suck. Can I get your full endorsement on the mower? No. Why not? Because it sucks. Why would I give you a full endorsement on a piece of crap? Well, can you just pretend like it's a good mower? Just because, you know, we gave it to you and you give us a good word on the YouTube? Well, why would I do that if your product sucks? Because we gave it to you and it's a free mower. You could just use it for free. Well, I don't like your mower. I think it's a piece of crap. It doesn't bag good. The chute constantly gets clogged. It doesn't go low enough. Uh, all the clippings are scattered about on the lawn, which was the main thing I was trying to avoid. So no, I cannot give you my full endorsement. Well, can you not put it on YouTube then? Uh, well, I, I can't promise you that. You guys want to see the very best part about this mower? I'm about to show you, okay? This is the best part, without a doubt. So take this off. The chute's clogged. The chute's clogged. Piece of crap, come on, that's why. Our engineers designed it that way for the chute to get clogged. So I'm gonna show you the very best part about this mower uh, that I figured out in the past 15 minutes. So this is the best part about this mower that I figured out in the last 15 minutes, okay? This is how easy it is to unload the bag. You just go like this. And it's empty, just that quick. That's the best part about this mower. Easy access to empty the bag. All right, so look at the difference here. Definitely needs fertilizer, okay? I've given this lawn no fertilizer at all this season. Last time I did it, it was last fall, probably in September, October but I've put nothing on there at all. It looks okay, it's decent. It would look a million times better if it was cut with a cylinder reel mower, but it's just patchy and splotchy, and to be honest with you, it does not look great. But I guarantee everything will change as soon as I pull out the cylinder reel mower. You can't do that. You can't be throwing your lawn clippings out like that. You can't put those lawn clippings there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn you in. Can't do that, you can't do that. So just finished the mow. It was enjoyable, but like I've said in previous videos in the past, if you wanna really enjoy that mow, you gotta get an enjoyable lawn mower that you really like. And that one I do not like, so that's not gonna be my mower of choice. The lawn's really patchy in places and it's still coming out of dormancy for the most part. It just looks kind of bumpy, but I think the cylinder reel mower will fix a lot of that. Uh, I got a serious issue there that I've got to manage. And then some spots through here that have kind of got to grow in. If you remember, there's a big tree here and these dead spots here are the result of the Imaza here. Some of these dead spots are a result of the Amazapir. Amazapir is some dangerous stuff. Don't, it's not a joking matter when it comes to killing stuff. If you are gonna use Amazapir to kill trees like I did, be careful with it. Don't get it where you don't want um, something to die. What's this cat doing? Look at that. Dude's got a landscape truck, okay? He's got a backup beeper on there. That is freaking crazy. 
So the best thing about this mower is the bagger and how easy it is to dump. That's by far the best. Um, and I would say pretty much one of the only good things about the mower. Maybe it was a good mower when it was new. It's w old, worn, and tired, and worn out. <coughs> Maybe it's a decent mower otherwise, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna mow this other side. It's not gonna be fun, but I'm gonna mow it because I need to do lots of cleanup. <coughs> it's lots of sticks, branches, twigs, <coughs> leaves, and other stuff that is on the lawn from the winter time. So then I'm gonna mow this side over here. That's gonna pretty well do it for this video. The next time I mow will be with a cylinder and it's gonna make all the difference in the world. So until that happens, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Been really sick, so I'm sorry I haven't been able to get any content to you, but I just, I just, it, my, my heart wasn't there and I was sick. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.